on the topic of defunding the Trump administration cut off U.S. dollars to the United Nations Population Fund earlier this month. The administration claims the agency supports population control programs in China, including coercive abortion. The U.N. group will lose at least $32.5 million in this year's budget. Archbishop Bernardito Alsa is Pope Francis's representative at the United Nations. He joins us now from New York City. Your Excellency, thank you for your time. Thank you. What do you make of the U.S. withholding millions of dollars from the U.N. Population Fund? Well, I, uh, I believe, uh, I mean, I'm sure that the United States uh, made that uh, decision not because it doesn't want to support uh, women's health uh, and girls' health, but uh, because according to the letter of the State Department to Senator Corker, uh, the UNFP supports and collaborates in programs uh, that include uh, uh, coercive abortion or involuntary sterilization, which is against the policy of the administration. So on the one hand, it is uh, significant in the sense that the United States, I mean, concretely, it's significant the United States is the fourth biggest donor to the UNFPA. On the other hand, uh, you know, even with the withdrawal of the United States support, uh, the other big donors of the UNFPA uh, have picked up the tab. Uh, and so uh, in the concrete, uh, the UNFPA would have the, the same funding although the funding uh, comes from other donor countries. So uh, in, that, in that sense, uh, politically, it sent a very strong message, as well as mm -hmm. also it signaled a departure uh, of the policy of the previous administration. Considering what you mentioned about coercive abortion and sterilization, do you support the U.S. decision? Well, if it is, uh, if it is what they say, uh, certainly uh, every every... Everyone should support that, even those who are big supporters of the UNFPA. I mean, nobody could ever accept a coercive abortion nor involuntary sterilization. They are condemned, uh, you know, not only by our conscience, by our moral principles, but also by international laws and conventions. So we completely agree if this was the reason uh, for the withdrawal, for the cutting, the stopping of the funding, then I don't think anybody could be against it. Your Excellency, the UN has a list of sustainable development goals, including one about increasing access to sexual and reproductive health care services. What does the UN mean by that language, and what is the Vatican's stance on that goal? You know, there has been a kind of a misinterpretation of the Holy See support of the uh, sustainable development goals, even uh, criticizing the Holy Father. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, we would like to... Uh, as is people to look at all our reservations on the sustainable development goals. You know, the overall assessment, uh, the assessment of the Holy See, uh, overall, I mean, the whole vision of the uh, 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development is, as the Holy Father said, hopeful, and in a big sense, positive, you know. But we have indeed uh, made very explicit reservations, and uh, on these uh, targets that you have just mentioned, where, the, uh, where these terms are being mentioned, and we have made our reservations clear. Uh, you know, we have published that in many, many parts, and we have expressed that during immediately after the vote as an explanation of our reservation. And it is uh, public, it is on our website, and it was also, uh, it has been uh, sent also to all the Episcopal conferences in the world. But of course, it has not prevented some countries and some UN agencies from using these terms and expressions uh, to also interpret as including abortion. That mm. is our biggest reservation there. Even though the sustainable development goals overall, I mean, is, is positive, you know, it's, it's about, you know, cleaning environment, sustainable cities, uh, global partnerships, uh, peaceful institutions, etc. These are certain terms in which we have made explicit reservations or contrary opinions. Archbishop Bernardito Alsa, Pope Francis's representative at the United Nations, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much.